Hey guys, let's go over three quick examples of how to use animations with SwiftUI. So here I have a new Xcode project. And what I wanna do first is basically make this look pretty. And I'm gonna do that with a Z stack and put a linear gradient with a background of like blue, turning into black with a start point of top leading <clears throat> to bottom trailing. Just to kind of get the ball rolling here. And then we're gonna go dot edges ignoring safe area dot all. All right, uh, the first example we're gonna do is like a list cell. And I think one of the best ways to do this is a check mark bouncing. So if we were to do like an H stack uh, with text and then have a spacer and then have an image at the end of system name um, checkmark.circle.fill. So you can see we have black text, we have a black check mark, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, so we're gonna go font.system, make this bigger, 24. Then we're gonna do dot foreground color is dot green. There we go. Then we're gonna give it some padding. And then on this H stack, I think we should give it some padding as well to yeah, bring those in and then give it a cool background. So we can go background. Uh, dot ultra thin material in a rounded rectangle to give it that like glass morphism type of look 20 style dot continuous cool uh, let's change this text to subscribed to Logan Koshenka because we want this to be like a task that you can check or uncheck and this is a great task to do We could change this to bold actually. This brings me to my first point. And when you do animations in SwiftUI, there's essentially a formula with three parts. Number one is that you need a state Boolean. So what we're gonna do is come up to the top here and go at state private var is subscribed. We're gonna set it to false by default. Then what you need to do is use with animation to toggle that Boolean. So we will use this by the check mark. We're gonna come down here and go dot on tap gesture. And we're going to say with animation and do is subscribe dot toggle. And with this animation, you can customize it. You can go dot ease in out. You could set a duration of 0 0.5. How's that? Or 1.0. So part three of that formula is to use a ternary operator to essentially control and activate that animation. So what do we want to animate? Let's say we can do, so first of all, we can use an opacity on the text and we could say is subscribed question mark. So if they are, we're going to make the opacity one. So full, and if not, we're going to make it 0.5. So we're, it's going to have a little bit of gray to it. So we could test that by coming here, tapping it and see, looks good, right? Now we can come to our system name for the image and say is subscribed. If they are, then we're gonna use this check mark. And if not, we're just gonna use circle. Um, for foreground color, that's another example. We can do is subscribed dot green else dot black. See, cool. Then we can do a, uh, another one I like to do is dot scale effect and is subscribed. We can make it 1.25 it's, its normal size. If not, we'll make it one. So it'll not only will it turn green, it'll get bigger. So it kind of comes out. Cool. So that's all I had for the first one. That's the simplest uh, example, I think. The second example, we're gonna use a, uh, a shape with, with a spring. So what we're gonna do here is uh, we gotta embed, we have to embed everything in a V stack actually. And let's give this a spacing of like 50, just to be safe. Uh, give ourselves some space. We're gonna come down here to circle. And we're gonna say dot frame. Let's make the width. 
uh, 100 height 100 we're gonna go foreground style is a linear gradient we want the colors is the easiest one to use and we just want this to look good you know we want this to be dot cyan and dot green to match our background and then we'll go dot top trailing to dot bottom leading i was wondering why this was on top we need to put this inside of our uh, v stack so go ahead and cut that and looks like i gotta refactor my code a little bit that's what we want right there okay so essentially here we're going to start out by doing the same thing which we're going to use our formula so first part state private var animating circle is equal to false and you can name these anything but basically we can um, come down and say on top the basically we can come down and say on tap gesture with animation And for this one, we're going to use spring. Okay. And we're going to say animating circle dot toggle. So that's part two of our formula, right? Um, the problem is this isn't going to do anything if we tap it because we didn't set up a ternary operator. We did not do our third step. So let's go ahead and do that now. We can um, we can move the circle with with offset. We can say uh, animating circle for X if it is animating it's you know going to be moved by 30 if not by 0 animating circle for Y is going to be up 100 if not it stays we can do dot scale effect animating circle if yes we can make it twice the size if not we'll make it the same size I feel like that's probably enough for now. So with the spring, cool, right? Now, I wanna show you guys how to customize this spring animation. So you can look this up on Apple and read their documentation, but I basically have a cheat sheet here. So response, this is gonna be your stiffness with zero being the most stiff. For damping fraction, this is gonna be your bounciness zero being your most bouncy. And for blend duration, um, no one seems to know what it does. The definition is incredibly confusing and I couldn't find anything on it. So if you find out, comment and tell me, because I have no idea. But anyway, I think the two most important ones are response slash stiffness and your damping fraction slash bounciness. So for response, let's go 0 0.9. And for damping fraction, let's go 0 0.5. And blend duration, we're going to set to zero because it shouldn't even be there. <laughs> All right, so let's try this. Slight bounce at the end, right? So then if we set this to 0 0.1 and try it, look how bouncy that is. If we set this to 0 0.9 and try it, it barely goes. It's very smooth. So you can play with these as much as you want. And then for response stiffness, if we go 0.1, it's just quick and no bounce. If we go 0.9, it's kind of like a smooth, gradual, ease in and out type of deal. So that's example two. And spring, like I said, I encourage you guys to play with these parameters and kind of see what you like because you can go, um, you can have a very deep dive into that spring one. All right, so for the third one, we are going to use a button example. And we're gonna give ourselves some space here. We're gonna make a button and pick the one with action and label and just hit enter. And this will be our action. This will be our label. And for the label, let's do that first. Let's make a text that just says, animate and let's make it pretty so we can go bold we can go dot frame with 200 height uh, 50 we can do foreground color 
dot indigo for the text and then we can say dot background linear gradient colors let's do dot mint and dot white start point dot bottom leading end point dot top trailing just to mix it up you know cool that looks good clip shape rounded rectangle corner radius of 20 style continuous we're going to give it a little shadow just a basic one with a radius of three all right so what's step one state var state boolean so state private var animating button is equal to false step two use with animation to toggle so with animation we're going to do dot ease in out with a duration of one and then we're going to say animating button dot toggle and then we have to give it for step three our you know ternary operator so we can do the opacity maybe we could say animating button if yes it is full on visible if not it is only 70 percent visible you can see it kind of faded away there and then another we can do is dot scale effect with uh, animating button if yes 1.5 if not you know 1.0 it's regular size and I think that's enough for now uh, let's give our button some padding and then if we play it grows and the full opacity shows so you can see that effect but I'm going to show you guys one more thing you can add on to this duration and say dot repeat forever repeat count you say repeat count of 10 so it will repeat 10 times when you do this animation in and out cool right so if you wanted an effect to kind of like emphasize to users you could do that so just to recap state boolean with animation ternary operator that's all you really need to know and uh, i encourage you to explore more on your own thank you guys for watching